My Little Angel. Joseph, Mary, and baby Jesus lived in Nazareth. Joseph was a carpenter. He was baby Jesus' foster father, and he looked after the Holy Family. <laughs> Just like I'll always look after my family. Daddy, Daddy's home. Um, hello, boys. Hello, my dear. Hello, darling. You're just in time for dinner. The boys have homework to do, and they're waiting for you to help them. Right, Daddy. Today we learned about Saint Joseph. Oh yes, I'm happy to be helpful, my family. Just like Saint Joseph looked after and was helpful to his holy family. Let's say grace in, in the, the name, name of the Father, Father and, and of the and Son, the Son and, and the Holy, holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. Amen. My Lord, may your blessing descend upon us and upon this food that you've given us. May it serve as a means for us to always do your holy will. Amen. Amen. Oh, the twins. I must feed them. I'll be right back. All right now. Tell me what you've learned at school today about St. Joseph. It all started when we were with Benny in his carpenter's workshop. Mr. Narrator, do you think we should wake Benny up? It seems he's fallen asleep. Yes, right. But I hope he doesn't fall off his chair. Benny, wake up. Saint Joseph in this hour, show us your power. Oh, 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 oh. Herod, oh, angel of God, oh, Egypt, oh, what? Oh, where am I? What's going on? What's Benny, happening? Benny, calm down. It's just us. Don't be afraid. What were you doing? <coughs> Benny, you were asleep. Oh, yes. I was asleep. Oh, no, 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 no. I was reading. Yes. And, and what are you reading? Well, I was reading about the life of Saint Joseph. Yes, he was Jesus' foster father and carpenter. I mean... He worked with wood, and he always followed instructions. I want to become like him in order to live a good life and finish this project that I've started, yes. <laughs> right. Working with wood is really hard. Oh, did you know that an angel of God spoke to Joseph in a dream? Well, exactly like him, I'm now trying to get to sleep so that my angel might tell me how to finish this project I started. Yes. <laughs> oh, hello, children. Benny, here's your piece of wood. St. Joseph, in this hour, show us your power. Good morning, Father Francis. Good morning, Father. Good morning. I heard you talking, and just like Benny, I also have a special devotion to St. Joseph. Would you like to hear the story? Yes, yes, yes Father, Father, please tell, tell us. us. According to the Bible, an angel of God spoke to St. Joseph in a dream. This is the story. Mary was Joseph's wife. One day, they traveled to a small town called Bethlehem. Once there, there was no room for them in the inn, so they had to stay in a stable. That's where Jesus, the Son of God, was born. There was a star shining bright in the sky over the place where Jesus was born. Three wise men saw the star, so they left their country to bring the baby Jesus gold frankincense and myrrh. Herod was the king in those days, and the three wise men arrived at the king's palace to ask about Jesus. So you are Melchior, Gaspar and Balthazar. What can I do for you? What do you want? We're in search of the new king. We saw his star and we have come to worship him. Do you know where we can find him? Herod was a wicked king, and he treated his people badly. So, when the wise men told him that a new king had been born, Herod was afraid the people wouldn't obey him anymore. Melchior, 
Gaspar and Balthazar. Go and search in Bethlehem for the child. Listen to me carefully. When you find him, come back to tell me, so that I may go and worship him too. <laughs> Once the wise men had found and worshipped Jesus, they were warned in a dream that Herod was not telling the truth. The wise men were afraid of him, so they decided that they would take a different road back to their country. Herod was jealous of the new king and wanted to kill him. Herod was very angry when the wise men didn't return, and so he sent out his soldiers to find the child. That very night in Bethlehem, the angel of God spoke to Joseph in a dream. Joseph, wake up. Take the child and his mother. Go into Egypt and stay there until I tell you. Herod is looking for the child to kill him. Since Egypt was very far away, they had to walk across the desert. Joseph woke up, took Jesus and Mary, and they went into Egypt. Soon after Herod had died, an angel of God spoke to Joseph in a dream while he was sleeping in Egypt and announced to him, Wake up, take the child and his mother, and return to Israel. Those who were seeking to hurt the baby are now dead. Once again, Joseph obeyed. Then Jesus, Joseph, and Mary returned to Nazareth, their hometown. And that's where Jesus grew up. As you can see, Joseph was an example of obedience. He followed the angel's instructions, even though they were all very difficult. Oh, Father, thank you for telling us such a wonderful story. It was through St. Joseph that I've learned obedience and the virtue of hard work. Now I'll go and pray to God that Benny will do a good job. Bye-bye, Benny. Your project is coming along nicely. <laughs> Thank you very much, Sister Patricia. And even though I can't hear my angel's voice in my dreams like St. Joseph, I will obey my mother, my father, Father Francis, Mother Superior, and you sisters. Mm. Boys and girls, just like Saint Joseph, you must also obey your parents, your teachers, and other grown-ups. I'd like to thank you, dear St. Joseph, and to tell you that I really love you. You guided Jesus and Mary in good times and when things became scary. I would like to thank you, dear St. Joseph, and to tell you that I really love you. You guided Jesus and Mary. In good times and when things became scary I want to live and work like you Obey my parents and do the good Every day I will pray to you And do the things I know I should I want to live and work like you Obey my parents and do the good Every day I will pray to you And do the things I know I should I would like to thank you dear St. Joseph and to tell you that I really love you You guided Jesus and Mary In good times and when things became scary I want to live and work like you Obey my parents and do the good Every day I will pray to you And do the 
everything I show. My little angels. My little angels. Hey, Louis, look at this. Do you see what I see? Benny is making something with wood. Oh, yes, but I wonder what he's building. Shh, look, look. Shh, he's coming this way. Let's oh, see. All right. Now that these pieces are done, it will be easier to make the legs. <laughs> but Benny, I think you're going to need a little more wood than that. You're right. Let's go get some nails and attach the legs. What are they working on? I wonder what they're building, Anita. Well, it's got legs and it's made out of wood. Hmm. I've got it. They're making an animal out of wood. Okay, okay. I'll use the binocular to see. I think it's an elephant. Those pieces of wood are really thick. They look like trees. No, I don't think so. Let me see. Hmm. It could be a donkey, like the donkey used by Joseph to carry the baby Jesus and Mary to Egypt. No, no, no. I think it's a turtle, because Ben is working very slow on this project. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You know what? I'm going to help Benny. What? Louis, you can't do that. Don't you understand? If you help him, he'll know that we've been spying on Don't him. Don't worry. Maybe if I help him, he will let me see what kind of animal he's making out of wood. I'm going to ask my dad if I can give Benny some of the wood we have in our garage at home. See you later. But wait. Wait, Louis. Anita. What are you going to do now? You're all alone. What am I going to do? You're right. Hmm. I know. I'm going to keep watching them by myself. Okay. Let's stop. Let's put it down here. Oh, I'm a little bit tired. I didn't know this kind of work would be so difficult. And St. Joseph was a carpenter all of his life. Oh, yes. You're right. He always worked hard. By the way, I'm sure we will feel a lot better if we drink some lemonade. Yes, you're right. That would be great. But we have to keep on going if we want fish in time, Benny. Oh, you're right. Let's go. Benny and John look very tired and thirsty. What can I do for them, Mr. Narrator? Well, the Virgin Mary was very helpful to St. Joseph. Yes? Oh, I've got it. I'll get them some refreshing lemonade. What do you say, boys and girls? I'll be right back. Anita, you're right. The Virgin Mary was always very helpful to St. Joseph. Now, what's that got to do with needing some lemonade right away? Well, Mother Superior, just like the Virgin Mary, I also want to help Benny with that lovely project he's working on. And what kind of project is that? <laughs> Saint Joseph, in this hour, show us your power! <laughs> Here we are! Louis, Louis, John, look! <laughs> We're almost finished! St. Joseph, listen to our prayers. <laughs> hmm, I thought I heard something over here. St. Joseph, in this hour, show us your power. My little angels, what are you doing? <laughs> Hello, Mother Superior. Well, you know, I'm working on a project. I'm trying to imitate St. Joseph and learn the virtue of hard work. Well, that's very good, Benny. You're making an animal with big legs. Is that a pet for the kitchen? <laughs> no, no, Louis. Uh, it's a surprise. <laughs> One, One, two, three, three. now! May I take the handkerchief off my eyes now? Oh, look at this! 
a new table. Hooray! Hooray! Oh, it's lovely. It's beautiful. Where did you buy it? No, oh? we didn't buy it, sister. Oh! Benny hey, built Benny? it. Benny? Yes, and with the help of the children. But it was Benny's idea to give you this gift on St. Joseph's Feast Day. <laughs> That's right. I thought I would make something nice for everyone to thank you for all of the many things you have done for me. <laughs> oh, it's so lovely, Benny. Besides, it will replace the old table that was already falling apart. I'm very happy. You know, I'll be using it in the kitchen all the time. Thank you, Benny. Thank you so much. Oh. Benny, oh. you did a very good job. It's a lovely oh, table. Thank you. I would like to thank you, dear St. Joseph, and to tell you that I really love you. You guided Jesus and Mary in good times and when things became scary. I would like to thank you, dear St. Joseph, and to tell you that I really love you. You guided Jesus and Mary. In good times and when things became scary I want to live and work like you Obey my parents and do the good Every day I will pray to you And do the things I know I should I want to live and work like you Obey my parents and do the good Every day I will pray to you And do the things I know I should I would like to thank you, dear St. Joseph and to tell you that I really love you. You guided Jesus and Mary in good times and when things became scary. I want to live and work like you. Obey my parents and do the good. Every day I will pray to you and do the things I should. My Little Angels My Little Angels Darling, the twins have now gone to sleep. All right, boys. It's also time for you to go yes, to daddy. bed. Yes, Daddy. Right away. Right away. Very good, boys. Thank you for obeying us. Yes. Just like St. Joseph always obeyed God. Good night, Good night, Mommy. Good night, Daddy. Good night, children. Today I told the boys the story of St. Joseph and how he loved the Virgin Mary and Jesus very, very much. Do you know, darling? Yes, I heard you talking to Peter and John. Uh -huh. Thank you, darling. You teach the boys so many good things. You're a good example for them, just like St. Joseph. Let's pray to Mary and Joseph to guide us. We have always had great devotion to them since we were very young. Jesus, Mary, Mary and, and Joseph, Joseph, we, we commend our family to you. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Amen. John, I'd like to pray that St. Joseph will teach us how to work with wood like Benny. St. <laughs> Joseph, teach us your virtues. We want to become obedient and hardworking like you. Amen. Good night, Peter. Good night, John. Boys and girls, do you want to learn more about us? 
write to us at angels at ewtn.com remember angels at ewtn.com goodbye I would like to thank you, dear St. Joseph, and to tell you that I really love you. You guided Jesus and Mary in good times and when things became scary. I would like to thank you, dear St. Joseph, and to tell you that I really love you. You guided Jesus and Mary. In good times and when things became scary I want to live and work like you Obey my parents and do the good Every day I will pray to you And do the things I know I should I want to live and work like you Obey my parents and do the good Every day I will pray to you And do the things I know I should